Welcome back for another video. It's Ehlad and it's a Raid Shadow Legends video. We have Curse City Reset and we're going to start this video with a pleading to Plarium. Now we love 100% gear removal. It's the best event Plarium ever put on and we, we definitely want it as frequently as possible. And if they're going to give us one, Every time there's a Curse City rotation, we'll be eternally grateful. The one thing we're going to plead for, and if anyone from Blairin watches this, which, you know, I, I doubt they really do, to be honest. But if they do, could you please put it in the middle of the Curse City rotation rather than the first four days or the first three days or however long you make it? Put it in the middle or towards the end. Because putting it at the beginning, where we really, really need the reset, or uh, the free free regears, is deep in Soulcross, to be honest. Before then, it's not as important, or we don't get the full value. We get so much more of the value here than we do here. Now, I will be rushing to Soulcross as quickly as possible. Uh, last time I rushed to Amius, uh, you know, new boss, never seen him before, never fought him before. That seemed like the right thing to do. But I think this time we want to rush along here, up here, and get in to Soulcross as quickly as possible. And I think that's going to probably be our most direct path is just to go along here. We can actually count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and we're in on the thirteenth stage. An alternative would be what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I mean it's definitely gonna be a lot longer, right? You have to you can't just sneak across there, you have to snake round. So we're going to rush into Soulcross and try to make the most of the free re-gear the, the free re event. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is take the opportunity of the free re-gear event over the weekend to fix a lot of the builds that I busted during my attempts to beat. Soulcross last time. So things like Artak is in a stun set. I'd rather get him back into regen. We've got a fusion starting. I know I'm going to have to do Ice Golem. So, you know, I want to get my teams fixed again. Loads of champions have missing gear pieces. And uh, yeah, I just kind of want to go through, clean them up. Glad isn't broken, but I'm, I'm, there are definitely, <laughs> there are definitely builds that are missing jewelry. Uh, there you go, Constantine missing, crew tracks are missing, etc. I could go on another stun set build that's been broken. Uh, and the actually, that does actually lead me in to one more thing. Now we've got a free regear event. What I would also implore Player Rim to consider would be a occasional, and it doesn't have to be monthly. It doesn't. At all. It doesn't even have to be quarterly. They could. It would be nice to do it at least quarterly, but they could do it, you know, every six to twelve months if they wanted. Give us a free mastery reset and a free blessing reset for all of our champions, because so much in the game has changed. With really what well, with Hydra, the new gear sets, all of the. Um, Sand Devil, Phantom Shogun, Live Arena, and Curse City particularly is such a big game changer that I feel like, you know, we've got what, hundreds of champions. We now need to build more of them and use them in more ways. We need like a way to reset things, particularly because Amius has basically ruined Cycle of Magic. I feel like getting that, you know, if you want to do it in gems and you've got two, three, four hundred champions at 150 gems per mastery reset, plus whatever gems required for a blessing reset, it's just, it's very punitive. So anyway, those are my 
That's what I'm pleading uh, in this video to Plarium is to change the timing of the free regear and moreover to give us um to give us an amnesty on uh, on blessings and masteries if they would occasionally you know even once a year just give a free reset across all your champions something like that would be fantastic um it, yeah i mean that's that's <laughs> let me know in the comments what do you guys think obviously whenever you're asking for something for free <laughs> generally i think most people will be supportive but i don't think it would cost them much in terms of revenue and that's the the key part i don't think that many people are buying packs specifically to do this i think it's causing a degree of friction in the game that isn't isn't healthy. It isn't good for the game to have that degree of friction. But I, I think they should consider it from that perspective, basically. Uh, let's just pick some champions that I think will get it done. So although I did build what eight champions and did masteries for somewhere around eight as well, to be honest, uh, maybe even a touch more, and I wasn't able to clear any of those three stages, I um. I think some of these champions will still be useful in the next, well, this rotation and the next, what, three or so after that we're expecting to have. So I don't think it's been wasted, uh, that's for sure. Uh, decrease accuracy, freeze and HP burn would give us someone that can revive, uh, maybe lower accuracy as well there. And what else do we want? Maybe just some. Some raw damage, uh, not from you though. Your magic. There's a bunch of magic actually. Do we have anyone that isn't? No gear. No gear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Let's just go like this. Uh, should be all right. Let's just increase attack. Or we'll decrease accuracy. That didn't work. Never mind. Just do that. Decrease turn meter. Obviously, that was a bit of a mistake, but never mind. Get the HP burn and decrease accuracy. Just go through. So the the other thing that I kind of wanted to do. Let's get those freezes on those two. And try and just get some damage. Uh, the other thing I want to do after we've done these stages. In fact, maybe I'll just do it after I've done this stage. <laughs> <laughs> this was a bad uh, a bad team to pick. I've now got bombs coming out everywhere. Um I don't think Bobble's actually taken a turn. I've got <laughs> evil eye on everyone. Oh, and I keep doing that. <laughs> uh, I keep re reducing his turn meter from um <laughs> from Lady Kimmy, and I wasn't really paying attention. This is the problem when you're when you're trying to talk. And stream at the same time. <laughs> well, not stream, but record at the same time. You end up kind of just making silly mistakes because you're just not really paying attention. Uh, we're alive still at the moment. Uh, let me see if I can quickly get... And oh, I don't have a freeze, so I think we're just going to die, uh, to be honest. But let's see if we quickly get back to... Uh, we'll just get another bomb out, but maybe there. <laughs> so we definitely don't want that. We don't want that. And there's no real point having Lady Kimmy either. Uh, I think I'll just go more damage. Yeah, let's just do that. And maybe we'll just go... Yeah, it's Resident Doom Tower. Never mind. Let's just quickly get this done. We'll go in like that. HP burn. Uh, we don't want to reduce turn meter, but we will get the decrease accuracy. Go like that. A1, that will give us one bomb, but we can handle that. I'll hold off buffing until he's taken his turn. Hold off using the freeze. Click in. Uh, just A1, we will probably get another bomb because I do have a eye on him. Go for a nuke. And they do their abilities. And there we go. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll do the other four um after I won't I won't make you watch that. Uh but let's go and have a look at Soul Cross itself and see if we can figure out what teams we're going to need. And then we can actually 
make a note. So I'm just going to open up a notepad um, and just get a new notepad going. So this stage one, I think I would want probably Cupidus. Both my Farrakins are built. Probably Jetney and um, and Soulbond would be good. So Cupidus needs to be built. He is ascended, uh, but not booked. I won't book him, and he has no gear. So I should at least use this event to put gear on him. Similar with Jetney. I'll make a note to actually she does have some basic gear on. But I'll probably sort it out a bit and I'll make a note to in the CVC. So we know Jetney, we want to ascend in CVC. And Cupidus, we just want to gear. Jetney, we also want to gear as well. So let's just make a quick note of what we want to do for each of the rooms. So that's that's for. Soul cross room one. And we'll just quickly go through and see if there's anything we know we need to do. So Grish Nishak, uh, I think, does need to have his build fixed. So I will say secret room two. Nishak, fix build. I'll just fix gearing. Um, I messed him up a bit. Bracus, I think, has gear at the moment. But uh, I'll just say check it as well. Check gearing. And I think this is the the, the approach that I want to take to make sure that we, we get the most out of this free re-gearing event. Probably maybe War Maiden. Uh, and then maybe Alika, who also doesn't have any gear. So let's just make a note. Alika and War Maiden. We'll just put a question mark against her. So that'll be fine. For, that was Secret Room 2, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, not secret room, but soul cross two. Now soul cross three. We have our newly stun built grow hack, who I think will be fine. Um, we have Hefrak, we fine. We got the old uh, siege hulk, who I think still has gear on. Yeah, it does. And countess is needs to be done. So countess. Gear, definitely, and then maybe, maybe Biggin would be nice in terms of giving us some crowd control there. I'll put just put a question mark, uh, six star potential, or one of the CVC, um, <clears throat> one of not CVC, one of the champion training events. It'd be good to have, uh, you know, candidates to build champions. We also have Allure as a possibility as that fifth champion if we require it. Uh, and I think the builds on Growhack, Siege Hulk, and Hefrak will be fine. Then if we go to... We'll, we'll do S4 first and then come back to the Iron Twins one. Make sure we do this sequentially, right? Might as well. This room, I think, should be mostly fine if we have something like that, that, and that. We're then just saying probably Lydia is the other one. I, th I think we don't need to worry about builds at all for this room. So we'll just say all good. <laughs> and then uh, for Iron Twins, I think we probably want more again, wouldn't you think? Wouldn't you think? Uh, probably a Teodor. So that will give us two ways of getting decreased speed. Very high chance on more again, although my more again A1 is not booked, still a 50% chance, but then we also have Teodor at a 50% chance. That, that should give us a decent chance of uh, getting the decreased speed. Uh, probably a bit of healing from Rector, I think would be good. And then, then we're kind of flexible. I, I feel like we probably have enough champions uh, built to make this work, because we could we could go for an HP burn decrease attack in Crypt King. Rector's not ideal because of affinity, but I still think she'll probably be the best bet. We also have another healer in Ugo. I could go second Teodor, which is also viable. Um, an axe, not a bad child, but not particularly 
not not particularly tanky. But yeah, I th- I think you know there's also Mother Sibel, you know, revive on death, increased defense. I think there's there's options. I'm not massively concerned about building for this room, but I think maybe Morrigan might need a better build. Mm, looks okay. Yeah, it looks okay. Um, does Rector potentially equally kind of looks all right? And then my tear door should be fine. I'll just make a note to check, check Morrigan, Rector, check that as well. And we'll probably be all right. And I, I would advise basically anyone who else is doing this is to go through their roster. And do the same thing, like have a look through who you've got for each stage and make sure that we're, you're in a good stead. Uh, so here I would be using, um, I'll remove them from the kit, uh, the pit for now, Creedon. I definitely need to sort out Duke's build. I uh, haven't really looked at it for ages. So Duke definitely, uh, Taragi. I definitely want to fix the build there. Creadon probably, I think, need has lost a piece or two of gear. Kellen, uh, the Shriek, and uh, it's Cormac, right? I think I need to check all of those. So I'll just make a note of all of them, really, and then we'll we'll come back to that in another video. S seven, not worried because we have. Yakal, uh, Mithrala. Yeah, we don't. I don't think we need to worry about this room at all. We've got we've got options uh, against the Tormin. We've also got block debuffs in uh, in man eaters. So that one is all good too. Then S eight. Uh, what have we got here? Well, we've we've got Duchess <laughs> already. We're not we're not so concerned. Uh, Yannicka and um, Stagnite. Is Stagnite built? Not anymore. Stagnite needs gear. So definitely Stagnite needs uh, fixing. I think Lady Annabelle, I've never put any gear on at all. So I'm going to make a note of her as well. And this is basically, you know, this is what I would say to do. Uh, Rich off looks looks okay. I think Rich off probably okay. Maybe a little bit low on accuracy actually. So Rich off will uh, will check him as well. Jingle Hunter, I will probably use, but I will also check the uh, build because if we do want to use him for his uh, for his abilities. Actually, we've got quite a few options, so we'll just that that'll be fine. You've got enough potential there. S23, which is bizarre that it's next to these numbers anyway. <laughs> I guess they can't count at Plarium. You've got what, six, seven, eight? Yep, 23. That's that's how I count as well. <laughs> We've got what well, buffs galore there plus um plus seer. And then that's already at 18. We want really a two star that's maybe going to give us some control. Would probably be ideal because once we've killed with Seer, we're then a bit weak. And it could be that maybe we want just Necmo. I, I think we'll we'll find a way and we don't need to particularly worry about specific builds. I think uh, I think that's that's kind of what we we can say. So I think all good is fine to note. S9 is uh, Sand Devil. Maybe I'll even make a note that that's, that's Sand Devil. And what are we realistically going to be doing? Well, Mother Sibel is probably the best bet because then you've got a Phoenix style. And then we probably want a way of doing good damage once we've revived with the Phoenix that doesn't do too many hits. And I would be inclined. I'd be inclined to basically do some damage with Seer. 
Oh, we've actually got Godseeker. I just realized Godseeker's in this, so we don't even need to do all this work. We can literally go Godseeker and a single damage dealer. Uh, but if you didn't have Godseeker, um, wherever the... Well, Mother Sibel is what I was saying. That's the other viable option. So we've got two options here, and then we want really some damage dealing. It could be that I will opt for Creela potentially. I don't really have like a, an obvious damage dealer. Seer is an option. I could use, uh, I could try and use Seer. I don't know how much she'll do Karma Burn with, with just one buff from herself. Um, don't think Teodor is going to do enough damage to be useful here. Uh, it could be Creela, but uh, it could even be Mordecai, to be honest, with the HP burn. Um, I think it'll be fine because we have <laughs> Godseeker, basically. So Godseeker is God. <laughs> That's my note for that. We could, uh, we can move on. S10, what have we got? Void and three affinities. I mean, we've got the, the brothers in crime there, the partnership. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we're looking we're looking pretty strong, actually. Uh, we've even got a healer reviver if, if required, crowd control, decreased defense. Yeah, like that one's that one's all good. And I don't think I need to worry about any uh, any rebuilds either. So S11, the uh, double boss with um, hard. Hard ice golem and. Agra, which is a uh, nether spider. That's quite an awkward combo. What have we got? We do have our attack who would trigger the uh, spider, which is a bit of a problem. So, but very good for hard ice golem, obviously. We do have another HP burn in Akoth. So, if you didn't have our attack, Akoth is another potential. Same problem, though, that we mentioned. So probably my best crowd control at the moment is looking to be Creedon. Because essentially what I want is either to kill the Spiderlings in one hit, or to use HP, uh, or sorry, to use heal reduction is another option, or to freeze those Spiderlings so when I use our attack as an AoE hitter, we don't get counterattacks, so the spider doesn't get healed. We also don't take the poison. So crowd control is my preference. We'll probably want some kind of healing. Uh, and we've actually got two really good healers here. But yeah, it's about do we have a heal reduction uh, would be another nice thing. And for me, Teela is new. Does she have it? I thought she used to have heal reduction, but she doesn't. Another HP burner, though. Another <laughs> option for that. Um, not really noticing anyone who definitely has heal reduction. I'm sure there is someone who I'm I'm just missing. But I can't remember any of these having heal reduction. So unless someone random in, in here has it, <laughs> is it Scion? There you go. Scion does uh, heal reduction. But I'm not building a scion for that. But that that's uh, another option, right? But I'll probably try and go freeze with Creedon. We're already rebuilding Creedon. I think I need to actually sort out my Oella build. Yeah, I do. So I'm just going to make a note of Oella. Even though maybe not strictly required as a rebuild here. Because we want to make the most of that uh, free regear, right? On to S12, and for those still watching, thank you, I appreciate it, hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> right, um, magic, defense support, barbarian, lizard, and ogren tribes. Well, I mean, we got quite a bit of healing drop defense and a bit of crowd control, we're going to have to go for... Venomage, and to be honest, we're going to need second Venomage, I think. So what this tells me, I need to... 
sort out the build on Venomage. <laughs> I need to sort out the build on uh, on Sill because my Sill has been messed up. Definitely need to sort that out. I'd say my Ugos should be good. Uh, I'll just uh, maybe just make a note to check them. And then Venomage 2, I think we're going to actually have to build. Uh, build. I'll put um, well, to be six starred and build. Let's note that and a question mark. I don't think there's really much other option. I mean, do we don't really want to do someone like Grimskin? Although, you know, having a chance to strip, well, 100% chance to strip a buff is not terrible. Uh, but like, I'd say having a second Venom Age is probably more useful. We do actually have Sikara, the other one of the sisters. Bit of a uh, buff removal. AoE weaken. I mean, Alika's definitely the better of the two. Marked isn't really. I mean, increased defense for Sill. Hmm. Block debuffs and all allies. Bigger uh, increased defense. I could go for damage Sill. Get some good uh, stuns and damage out of Sill with, uh, with Marked. So maybe I'll make a note. Marked. Do we want to? <laughs> Six star? <laughs> Question mark. Um... Probably the, like those are the, the 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 best two options: the the second Venom Age or Marked. I would be more inclined just to go for the double Venom Age, get all the poisons, and then uh, just go for Sill as being kind of tanky crowd controller. Uh, I think it's probably the better approach to take. We then do have a cleanse and block buffs and decreased defense coming from from the Ugos, which is where damage Sill could come in. Anyway, I, I think I think we can do it. S13, what have we got here? Rare Epic Spirit against uh, these. This double bad L is kind of a pain, and, and so is the salad from memory. We do have a bit of crowd control. We do have an increased defense, heal, and a cleanse. We have good healing from Grush. But I feel like we're lacking crowd control again. What does uh, Wuzgar do? Uh, nothing that's really going to help us that much. Makes me wonder, like, do we need second Null Horn? You know? Like, is, is, that, what, is that what this is saying? I probably will rebuild my raider because we got this 100% chance to stun. AoE decrease speed with a 50% chance is always really good for cycling crowd control. So I know I need to sort out my null horn build. I do think maybe I should build a second null horn. So I'm going to put question mark because I really want one built for Shogun and one built for, well, Curse City. Because we, I think there's just going to be more and more content where Nullhorn in Curse City is going to be valuable. We've got plenty of healing. Vrask is another option there. Sandlashed is also possible. We've got a decent chance to provoke on the A1. We've also got Channeler, who's got a stun on the A2, and increased speed is always nice. But yeah, like the more you look at this, you think. Second null horn's just just the best, really. So I said Raider needs build fixing, uh, as did first null horn. They so sort out those builds. Uh, Fane is my probably would be my damage dealer here, and this is why I'm saying probably just second null horn. But I might try without second null horn and, and go for this this kind of setup. Um, and I think as a consequence, I'm going to say check Rush's build. Check build for Grush. Um, consider second Null Horn. Build Raider. We might have to consider what we're going to do with Fane because uh, 
not going to have enough accuracy in this um, build that she's in. So yeah, that's a bit of a some considerations to be had for that. Let's go on to S14. This is one of the stages that, that got us last time. We're in a better state this time. <laughs> we do have a lot of damage, uh, but we also have Vassal who gives us uh, an HP equalize, decrease attack on an AoE basis, HP burn. Uh, yeah, so I think, I think Vassal is looking good as kind of a general support. We then have another form of damage potentially, and we have uh, either Nazana or Husk. I mean, it looks to me that you just want to go in and, and nuke them fast. If that isn't the case, maybe Basilisk would be someone for, for six star, Nazana in a stun set. So, what do we know we need? We need to sort out Vassal. That build needs to be done. I've never actually built him. Um, I th think I built Fushan, so that should be fine. And I think Husk is built, and that should be fine. Androphon should be fine. So really, it's just build Vassal, and then Nazana. Maybe I should fix the build, <laughs> fix build question mark, and then the only other one, like I was saying, is is potentially. Essentially, basilisk. Do we do we need? Is a is is kind of the question. I don't think I will need, but I want to have uh, in the back of my mind all the potential champions that we we might need to build. Where is S fifteen? There's fourteen. <laughs> Where is fifteen? That's sand devil. I don't know. Okay, well, we'll come back to that. S16. We need... I mean, it looks like we've got options. We've even got that, or we've got a Kemptum. Uh, I think we, we have options. I don't think we need to worry too much. Not sure my Kemptum is actually built, no. So I might just say a Kemptum check build. Because uh, wouldn't mind getting an Akemptum build. I also think I need to probably rebuild my Cold Hearts. But that's a whole separate <laughs> kettle of fish. Uh, well, let's just go here to, to S17. I don't know what's happened to S15, but anyway. S17, the old hard fire knight. Well, we have Newt. So, I mean, that's that's basically game one. <laughs> With Valk, so Newton Valk, probably uh, a bit of bit of Brogni as well, uh, an increased defense to help the Valk out, and um, we probably just want someone to go faster or ally attack or something. Do we have anyone who's got like increased speed? Oh, and we've got new Blizzard as well. Jeez, so we got Newt and Blizzard. That's, that's abusive. Plus, I have a second Newt coming along. Um, and Valk. <laughs> that is... I think, I think we'll be all right, guys. I think we will be all right. All good is what we'll, <laughs> we'll list that one as. S18. S18. Right, what have we got here? Spirit, attack, defense, we've got Tatura, Yannicka, we've got a bit of crowd control in Nethril, like really top tier, top, top tier crowd control. We've got another bit of crowd control potential in Jingle Hunter. And then we have a few other options. It could either be that Cupidus, we could go for Fenax, uh, or, or even Anax is another option. Uh, with decrease accuracy poison, weaken and decrease defense. We don't have any other decreased defense coming in here. So if these are particularly hard hitting, uh, or rather particularly tanky, that might be nice. But Fenax does have decreased speed, have nice AoE uh, 
block buffs uh, or places block active skills when block buffs not placed. What a weird. <laughs> you really want the block active skills is much better. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah, I, I think Fenax. I think I should actually build Fenax. Fenax. Build. Uh, I think Nethril, I need to check the build. And I'll probably need to give him enough accuracy. Jingle as well needs to be checked. Uh, I think Yannicka is fine. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> Yannicka and Patura, what is your build looking like? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay, I think I think we're we're looking better than we did last time, except for stage nineteen. <laughs> I don't know how you're meant to do this. Uh, what have we got? One debuff from all allies. That's quite handy in general. A shield on all of us. A taunt with strength and, and counterattack. I mean, the main problem here, as we know, like you have to 100% crowd control everyone. It's like, who's going to do that? You've got good damage dealer and Dithy, so I'll, I'll, I need to fix his build. We know that. Uh, you got good CC in Achak, but also need to fix his build. It's not 100%. Um, and it's only if their attack is higher than their defense. We get the freeze, at which case we can use... Decreased defense from Dithy to try and enforce that. So Achak needs to be built. My concern here is that actually the way you win this <laughs> is basically like that. Um, because, yeah, <laughs> they're just the best champions in, in this, unless there's anyone I'm missing. Uh, Nazana is an option. You do get decreased attack, AoE, you do get ally protection and shield, which which might help us stay alive. But I just think those Taras hit so hard and all the rest of it. But you do get two AoEs. Oathbound I actually really like as a champion. I used him in Banner Lords uh, in my original faction war clear. You've got this 50% chance to freeze on A1. You've got uh, an AoE that does turn meter reduction. Uh, not a hundred percent, but like that's better than a lot of a lot of other crowd controlling or non crowd controlling epics. And then you got this four time at random block active skills for two turns. Like this is enormous, and it's a hundred percent if they're under decrease attack. So I think like you could you could open you know decreased defense, get the freeze out from attack. Then use the decrease turn meter with decrease attack from oath bound. Then use the the A4 uh, to block active skills, and you'd kind of hope that you'd have killed them. So I I actually think this is probably the the best setup um, you can have, which is double Dathy, <laughs> double Achak, and uh, and an oath bound. Um, but it's going to be massive RNG. I don't know. Second day, the second Achak and uh, Oathbound. I'm going to make notes of those and put question marks against those. But at least I need to fix the build of my two six stars here in Dathy and Achak, definitely. But we're not sure about the rest. You do have a bit of healing here if you have Tanix, and you do have uh, decreased speed, which is actually on a pretty much on a hundred percent chance AOE basis if Tanix is built to crit. And this is going to be actually really important. Uh, it makes it much easier to to crowd control them. So I think if you did have, you know, this setup where you've got decreased defense, a nuka in Dithy. Two crowd controllers, uh, and this this decreased speed. 
maybe this would work as well, actually. So instead of Oathbound, you have Tanix there for the AoE decrease speed. Because you don't really want to even just put block active skills because uh, you know, they're probably still going to kill you. <laughs> the one nice thing Oathbound does have is that 50% chance to freeze on A1, which uh, you know is, is a decent chance uh, and you're not going to get 100% from the Achak. So it might be that you, you're kind of using the Achak, a bit of RNG, getting the extra freeze off from Oathbound or have Oathbound in that stun set between the AoE, the freeze on the A1 and the chance to stun and then the A3 as well, with four hits, all with a chance to stun if they hit different targets, you'll, you'll get out a lot more, um, a lot more, um, sorry, crowd control, uh, plus decrease speed massively helps. And then Panix brings you, brings you the healing, basically. Uh, on, on the A1 there is, heals all allies by 3% of this champion's HP. So that could be could be a way to go. So I will make a note of Tanix as well as a as a possible <laughs> possible uh, route to build. Yeah, I think there's I don't know. It's just hard though, isn't it? Let's be honest. S twenty. This old chestnut. So it was fourteen, nineteen, and twenty that uh, bamboozled me last time. I already have what Taragi, Mishinaki, Artak, good crowd control in Godfred, this A2, 100% chance to stunt. Like, this is already looking <laughs> considerably easier. Uh, no healing there, so it might be that we end up bringing in Hatatsu. It could be that we bring in. Um, yeah, really just Hatatsu there, isn't it? I don't think we have any healing in Grizzled Jarl. We do have increased defense. Um, which we also have from Goffred. Hatatsu bringing this increased defense as well with a continuous heal. AoE there and a leech. That's all pretty nice. Duke, as we know, brings decreased defense, decreased attack. Also has a bit of a provoke. Yeah, I mean, there's. I feel like there's options here. So I, I definitely need to sort out the build for Goffred. Uh, and Taragi, I think. I mean, to be honest, looking at that, I'd probably be least inclined to bring in Taragi. It does bring me that AoE provoke, but also it's not 100%. It's only, well, it's 50% plus 5% for each debuff on the team. So if we had decreased defense, decreased attack from Duke, that does increase it quite a bit there's the other random champion here with the revive on death but with no other ability what a bad epic maruka is but that's the only form of revive in inverted commas michinaki does good damage uh i think offred i've never actually built him for damage but I'm, i might be inclined to try to be honest uh but you do have this Provoke on an A1 and uh, start on an A2. And actually also you have the, the passive with the, the block damage. Won't work against Rotus though. Uh, yeah, it's the lack of healing that concerns me. In which case the leech actually is really helpful. Um, from, I think it's, was it Taragi that had the leech? Who had the leech? I think it was Hatatsu actually, wasn't it? Yeah, Hatatsu. Yeah, that could be an option. So I definitely need to fix two builds and Duke also needs to be fixed, but I think we already mentioned him from before. And then possible 60s is Hot Hat 2. Basically, I think that pretty much sums that one up. Oh, this is a long video, guys. Anyone who's still watching, I applaud your endeavors. Oh, there's S15. It's a double boss. Again, like they can't count. It's in, in, in completely the wrong place. <laughs> um, we haven't gone through this one, but we do have Nut again, and it is the Gnut, and it is a uh, hard finite. So we'll probably be doing something like this. Uh, actually, neither of those are going to help. We need multi-hits. 
got a two hit. Oh great. And then we got we need HP burn. Which we have in Cupidus. Hmm. I think we probably need. We got a lot of healing from Bivald. That would probably help. We're kind of lacking multi hitters, to be honest. Don't you think? Got a triple hit and fod bore. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like. I'm not sure I massively love that. But um, we got the HP burn. I don't think I have any. Oh, you do have Fenax. So you could actually block revive it. That's the other option. Block revive the spider. And Fenax actually. Not a bad shout. You do get the decreased speed. So let's just make a note of Fenax question mark. Um and Q and Fodball really. Who's in a complete mess of a build. <laughs> For those who don't have it, you do have a a freeze <laughs> here in Luria. But I think if you don't have Newt, you are absolutely screwed, if I'm honest. I think. God, this game is so narrow right now that the rosters are so big. But if you don't have specific champions on Curse City, you just have no hope. S21, Uko, Versal, Debel, probably Sinatia for damage, maybe. Versal for damage. Maybe Rector is healing like this. This could work. Um, Versal needs to be rebuilt. Uh, Sinatia needs to be rebuilt. Wrecked, we've already said, also needs to be rebuilt, though. And Sibel also <laughs> needs to be rebuilt. That's a lot of rebuilds right there. That one we've done. Uh, there's S22. Another double boss stage. Hard Dragon and Dark Fae. We need multi-hit. Uh, not really multi here. We need we need TM control and uh, the ability to to nuke ourselves. So probably the TM control can come from Razin. Um, Gomlock actually is really good for this one because you do get uh, turn meter control and you can steal. Turn me to there. And you get a leech actually. So I, I definitely need to build Gomlock. I booked him. I've never actually built him. So I'd probably go Fushan, Razin, Gomlock. I think Pythian's going to just be too tanky. Um, as is Corrigal. Turn me to debuffs. We don't want that. No, we do have increase attack. Who's going to kill our team? Hmm, Aox remember maybe. Decreases enemy turn meter. Which is quite good. And some poison. And then we heal as well. I think Aox would be good for that. And it would finally give me an excuse to build him. I've had him six star for ages. And I would probably say I'd love to play with my new toy in Harima, but again, I think it's going to be too tanky. I think Sargala. I feel like that's a good setup. So I need to sort out Gomlock, sort out Iox, sort out Zargala. Definitely. Uh, I think Razin we already built last time. And looks reasonable. I am concerned might be a bit too tanky. 
but we'll give it a go. And then Fushan, I'll just make a note, Razin question mark and Fushan question mark. And then I think we got one more stage because S23 we already looked at, and that is S24. We have our five star Duchess. That's always a nice start. I do like Mithrala. I do like Seer. And we're already at 14 stars just from those three. And then. Oh, what else are we going to. It would probably be good to have a crowd control. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of where we're struggling at that point. This one could be tricky. To be honest, this one's actually looking a bit. They have a really high level, and Yumiko, we know, we know Yumiko is uh, it's not good for us. And there aren't that many. I still need another six stars, so I need an average of three. And I'm looking at these champions: two, two, one, two, one, one. <laughs> it's like, okay, we could go for like. A rogue off as a bit of a provoke, and then and then what are we gonna have as the other one? Uh, you see, that, that's kind of where it goes a bit wrong. Maybe Necmo, same t uh, same uh, speed or like is that gonna work? We're really relying on on um, Sia there, and we don't have decreased defense, so. Maybe that would be what we do, and then we try and use Vogoth to protect. Um, yeah, I think that's looks tricky. <laughs> but there isn't much we can do, uh, really, to be honest. I mean, who would be, if we were to get like a, a big soul for someone, who, who would it even be? <laughs> like who's gonna change it? Have we got any? No, we haven't got anything down there. Epic, legendary, mythical. Can't even use rares. Uh, who might have some high souls uh, and some high levels for us? But I'm not seeing anyone obvious that would be able to to use instead. So this would probably be the team that I would try. Right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been. A real marathon of a video, but I wanted to go through every stage of Soulcross, think about what I will intend on using, and have a game plan for how I'm going to maximize the free gear removal over the weekend. So, once again, thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.